Hello. In this example, we're going to write the equation of a line, and that line must have a slope of two-thirds, and it must go through the point 6, negative 3. In order to do this, I'm going to borrow a formula known as point slope. Now what this formula will allow us to do is basically plug in our slope and plug in our point and create the equation of a line. So here's what that looks like. y minus y1 equals slope x minus x1. Now even though there's lots of stuff flying around in here, we're only going to plug things in for the y1 and the x1 and also for the slope. So this x and this y, which do not have subscripts, will remain in the formula. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm going to replace y1 with the y-coordinate of my point. In this case, a negative 3. I'm going to replace the slope with my given 2 thirds. And last, I will replace the x1 with the x-coordinate of the point. And there we are. So this creates the equation of our line. Now oftentimes, we want to take this line and, and put it in a more useful form that we can read. So I'm going to simplify a few things in here and probably get the y all by itself. This will put it in what is known as a slope-intercept form. Okay, so let's start simplifying. There I see a couple of negative signs. I'll become positive. And that 2 thirds, as long as it's outside the parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and distribute it inside the parentheses. Let's see, 6 times 2 thirds. Looks like we have a 4. All right, let's get this y all alone by subtracting 3 from both sides. And there you have it. So our line that has a slope of 2 thirds and definitely goes through the point 6, negative 3 is this equation down here, y equals 2 thirds x minus 7. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.